Fraud claims wiped $45 billion from Adani Group stocks and Intel's 2022 profit plunges 60%. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramya Faraj. Shares of Adani Group's listed companies lost $45 billion this week. It comes as U.S. short seller Hindenburg Research launched a scathing attack on the conglomerate. Hindenburg says it holds short positions in Adani Group and it flagged concerns about debt levels and the use of tax havens. Adani Group dismissed the report as baseless. Gautam Adani's net wealth dropped by $22.6 billion today alone. That's according to the Forbes Real-Time Billionaires ranking. He now has net wealth of $96.6 billion. Meanwhile, India's market regulator has reportedly increased scrutiny of deals by the Adani Group over the past year. It will also study the Hindenburg Research Report to add to its own ongoing preliminary investigation into the group's foreign portfolio investors. SEBI has been asking for disclosures that it ordinarily doesn't ask for. Adani earlier this week dismissed the Hindenburg Report as baseless and said it's considering taking legal action. Closer to home, Wizz Air Abu Dhabi operated more than 6,000 flights and transported more than 1.2 million travelers in 2022. The national budget airline carried over 600,000 point-to-point passengers to the UAE last year, supporting the sustainable growth of Abu Dhabi's culture and tourism sectors. The carrier currently flies to 36 destinations in 25 countries from Abu Dhabi, and it says it's ready to expand operations further this year. Wizz Air Abu Dhabi has doubled the size of its fleet and organization with a 100% growth from four to eight state-of-the-art brand new A321neo aircraft. Emirates Global Aluminum supplied 203,000 tons of waste to other industries as feedstock in 2022. The amount was almost double the volume EGA generated during 2021 reducing stockpiles from previous years. EGA has worked for more than a decade with other industries in the UAE to find productive uses for byproducts from aluminum production. Reuse diverts waste from landfill and reduces the need to exploit new natural resources, contributing to the development of a circular economy. Intel saw its full-year profit plunge by 60% to $8 billion for 2022, and it's forecasting lower-than-expected revenue for Q1 this year. Intel suffered a net loss of nearly $700 million, or $0.16 cents per share, in Q4 2022. That compares with a net profit of $4.6 billion for the same period a year ago. Officials say results were impacted by persistent macro headwinds, characterized by unprecedented volatility, which will continue in the near term. And British Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt has urged older people to return to the workforce, saying the country needs them and that he's looking for ways to make it worth their while. Hunt addressed problems in the labour market in a speech that highlighted his plans to tackle weak productivity levels and boost economic growth. Hunt said those who retired early after the pandemic or haven't found the right role after furlough should return to work, pledging it will be under good conditions. I'm Ramya Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.